right, so day two. We left the house around 5.45 on Sunday morning to head up to Ventura Harbor where we would take a boat to Anacapa, which is part of the Channel Islands of California, to do our first open water dive. No! Don't go back! Don't go back to the future! It's like we're in a scary movie. It's Sunday, it's our second day. We're gonna go on this boat called the Raptor. <laughs> on the boat. Getting ready to go. This is our instructor van. Hi. So you come on the boat and you have your own little station and you set up all of your stuff. And then all of your extra stuff goes under here. And all of the wetsuits go out there. Ours is still really wet, so I'm not looking forward to that. Are you excited? Last one is... He's so excited he can't sleep. So we're on our way out, and I'm really dreading putting the wetsuit on. It's a cold, wet, wetsuit. At first the ride was pretty calm, but as we got further out, it got really rough and really choppy, and I've been on plenty of boats before in my life, but I've never gotten seasick until then. And I totally understand now why some people just don't even go on boats at all because they get seasick. It was like the worst nauseous feeling I've ever had in my life. I know they say like keep your eyes on the horizon, but that wasn't working for me. Nothing was working for me. So uh, next time I'm definitely gonna bring some Dramamine or something. So we're here at our destination. It's an island. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm okay. That one's coming up. So that's good. So once we got out there, our instructor decided to split us up into two groups so that he wouldn't have a hard time trying to keep track of all of us. And luckily, Phil and I were in the second group, so we didn't have to rush to get our wetsuits on. It's really, 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 really cold. I think it'll be warmer once we get in. Yeah, it'll be warmer once we get in. They were talking about how there's leopard sharks and stuff like that. This is the cat. Hi, baby. Hello. And we're, um, there's sharks and, did you say sea lions? Yeah. Or seals. I can't think of what to say because I'm nervous and I'm cold. <laughs> There's the first half of our group. Yeah. And the last one just went in. Here's a shot of us in our wetsuits. As you can see, I'm faking this smile. Uh, once I got this wetsuit on, I wasn't a happy camper. But uh, luckily, we loaded up with our equipment and hopped in pretty quickly afterwards so I didn't have to suffer that long, and I don't mean suffer, I'm just complaining. Right when we jumped in, my first thought was, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I was a little bit panicked, and not really panicked, I just kept having to tell myself to calm down, and you can do this, and you're okay, and just breathe, and uh, um, so once I was kind of more comfortable in the water, we made the initial descent, and that was kind of scary, but to be honest, I don't remember much of it, except, you know, the first second, and then when I hit the bottom and realized that I was 34 feet underwater, breathing. It was weird. It was really, really weird. And uh, the visibility was terrible. You could really only see like maybe six to eight feet in front of you. And it wasn't very pretty under there. All you could see was maybe like one or two fish. Uh, there was a bunch of kelp and it almost kind of looked like we were in a dust storm or something. It was like brown and green and just not very, not very attractive. I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad there was like nothing to distract me from the task at hand because I was already having a hard enough time trying to relax underwater and just kind of tell myself that everything's okay, just breathe. So I think that if I had seen like any huge animals or if there was some like pretty coral to look at, I wouldn't have been able to really concentrate on what I needed to do. I had a few problems with establishing buoyancy while we were swimming around and just taking a look at the area. Sometimes I would be like dragging on the ground and I was scared that I was gonna like bump into a stingray and like die. Or um, <laughs> sometimes I was just like floating up and away and I was going up way too high. But after a while I got the hang of it. And at one point our instructor did point out like this not even huge jellyfish. I mean he was maybe like the size of my hand. I just kept being really scared that I was gonna like swim into a jellyfish and like the only exposed part of my body was gonna get stung by a jellyfish. Um, as you can tell, I'm very optimistic. So while we were down there, we just really took a tour of the area and uh, went over a few of our exercises. Um, and then after about 20 minutes, we went back up to the surface and took a break. And I was really happy that there was a bunch of free food on the boat. There were sandwiches, drinks, donuts, there was hot soup, just everything. So we were able to refuel and um, just kind of relax before our second dive. The second time we all went down together and we just kind of 
formed like a circle at the bottom. I was the last one to get down to the bottom and uh, I think I hit someone in the head with my foot. I'm not sure who it was because everyone kind of looks the same underwater with you know all their gear on. So while we were down there we just did a few more of the exercises that we had learned in the pool and we were all just kind of trying to get comfortable underwater. And yeah it was a lot of fun and we stayed down for about 20 minutes again and then we went back up. Once we got back on the boat I felt like I had just conquered the world. It was such a cool feeling to know that I had just gone scuba diving my first time. It was just so cool and um I don't know, it was like this era of confidence and adventure. The whole experience was just incredible and I can't even imagine what it's like once you know what you're doing when you're down there and you're in like a beautiful location and there's tons of beautiful things to look at and I mean this experience has just been so much fun and it's just getting started. So this Sunday if everything goes well we will finally be open water diver certified. I definitely want to take some more classes though so that we can just keep learning more about this awesome hobby that we've just kind of adopted out of nowhere. So yay! <laughs> I hope you guys have liked this little insight into uh, some scuba training and um, I was wondering what have you guys done in the past to kind of break out of your normal everyday routine? What are some of the things that you guys have done uh, just maybe spontaneously out of the blue that have really kind of turned your life around or just have added some excitement to your life? Oh and I know how you guys hate how I've been uh, randomly ending my videos lately. I didn't know it was that big of a deal, so I'm sorry, and now I'm warning you that I'm going to stop the video in five, four, three, two, one.